Hey guys, welcome to Shelter on Base. I think we're on week six or something. I can't even remember. We've done About quite that. A few of these. Yeah, quite a few of these at this time. And uh, I don't know if you notice our very, very special guest, but we have Jalen Davis, the man, the myth, the legend, San Francisco Giants outfielder with us today. Welcome. Thanks All for right. Coming. What's up, Jalen? <laughs> welcome. Hey, we're so happy to have you on. And I think one of the things we always want to know about is what do you do when there's no baseball? I mean, you are a baseball player. So I guess like I would love to know what you've been up to and if you have developed any cool quarantine skills. Have you learned to poach an egg? Have you become a gamer? <laughs> Spill. Um, I would say mostly video games. And so, I mean, I have a 13 year old brother too. So I've kind of been playing basketball and stuff with him. So he's kind of kept me busy a little bit. What, oh, video, what video games are you playing? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, Mostly MLB The Show and then like NBA 2K, so. Oh, nice. Yeah, NBA 2K is really cool. I like that you can like swag out your player and everything. Yeah. But MLB The Show, I haven't seen you in the tournament. Have you been playing with Hunter Pence? He's been front and center on that. I have not, but I've actually been watching. So I got a couple other guys I'm friends with that plays. My roommate from um, spring training, John Duplantier, he's in it. So I kind of oh, yeah. watch. Nice. Yeah, I've talked mm -hmm. to John before. Uh, it sounds like it's pretty hard. Like, I'm always talking to Hunter about it, and he's always like, this is harder than it looks. <laughs> it actually is, yeah. I agree with him. Um, I played against a couple of my friends from here online and stuff. It's actually harder than it looks. Are yeah, you better I, than Hunter? Yeah, do you uh, think you can beat Hunter? I, I don't know. I mean, I'd like to see that, so i have to set something up. Yeah, you guys should set that up and stream on his Twitch channel. I'm sure he'd love that. <laughs> yeah, do it. Let's promote it. Uh, the battle. Yeah, I want to see that go down. I'm, I'm in your corner. I think you can do it. Sounds like you've been really practicing. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> is there a, any aspect from the video game that you think is helping you keep your actual IRL baseball skills on point? Or is it just for fun? Uh, just for fun. Yeah, I don't really look at it like that. I mean, yeah. really much that it can help you with, to be honest. Fair enough. Fair and enough. You haven't gotten I mean. into the Animal Crossing phase, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! That a, yeah, I think that was a yes. That, that might be a yes. A yes. <laughs> What's an island called? No, not really. No. <laughs> okay, fair enough. We'll let you keep that just to yourself. Uh, Cole, do you want to um, maybe move into the lightning round? I yeah, think let's let's game. pull lightning round, Jalen. I'm going to ask you some some real rapid fire questions. I want you to give me off the cuff what you got. A lot of this or that or. You'll see. It's going to be very easy, but this is a fun way for us to get to know you and for our viewers to get to know you um, leading up to hopefully seeing baseball sometime soon. So right off the bat, fishing or golf? What do you prefer? Fishing. Fishing. Fantastic. Yeah. What is more satisfying, a diving catch or a close stolen base? I was say a diving catch. Nice. I'm a big fan of the diving catches myself. So my dad used to always make fun of me when I was a kid. Um, small <laughs> town or big city? Um, small town. Yep. Uh, favorite celebrity from North Carolina? Ooh. Ooh. Um, I don't know. That's hard. Uh, probably, uh, I guess I'll go with the rapper, J. Cole. Fantastic. Good choice. answer. Good answer. Good answer. NBA or NFL? Uh, NBA. All yeah. right. What's the funniest nickname you've had in your life? Funniest nickname? Oh, God. Uh, you can always pass if you don't have a good one. Yeah, pass. I don't think I have it. <laughs> Fair enough. Would you rather swim with sharks or skydive from a plane? Ooh. I'll skydive. Skydive. Fair enough. Italian oh, food or Mexican nice. food? Uh, would you say Italian food or what? Or Mexican food? Uh, Italian. Italian? What was I'm the a, last I'm great a, movie you part. saw? The last great movie? Um... The new Bad Boys movie. Oh, I loved it. We yeah. actually just watched it a few nights ago. <laughs> Thumbs up. And what is the best fast food burger? Last question. Best fast food burger. Um, I'm not going to say. fast food guy you can have. I'm more of a five guys and an In-N-Out guy. So. All right. Five yeah. guys. They, they make a good burger, and their they fries are particularly on yeah. point. What's your, uh, your In-N-Out order? I've only been there like three times, actually. So, uh, 
Yeah, I can't even remember actually what I got the last time. <laughs> Fair enough. Next time you go, you can hit us up and we'll steer you in the right direction. All right, I definitely will do. <laughs> Anthony, you got any questions uh, from us and from Twitter you want to ask? I do. I will say that us Bay Area ites we're very in and out snobs. So uh, we are. I'm sure you playing in the Bay Area now, you'll you'll get used to in and out. Um, so we, we so we also have a couple questions. I'll lead off. Um, you came over at the trade deadline last year. I think you played in about 17 games uh, in September. Uh, I know this is a little bit of a first date kind of question, but what would you like Giants fans to know about Jalen Davis? Oh, Maybe make it uh, awkward uh, by phrasing it as a question, <laughs> Anthony. Yeah, Anthony. Well, you made it more awkward better. by pointing out the awkwardness. <laughs> so, double thank you. I mean, uh, I don't know. I guess uh, I'm pretty laid back and pretty quiet. I don't really talk that much. Honestly, so I mean, most of the guys on the team will probably tell you that too. Um, I I've heard you're one of the nicest guys in the world from some some of the some of your uh, teammates. So um, I think you have a good reputation there. Uh, okay. Speaking of your teammates, I would love to know who like really cracks you up. Like, who do you think is the funniest teammate that you have on the Giants? Who is the funniest teammate? Uh, I'd have to say Billy. Billy oh, Hunter. really? <laughs> I uh, haven't had a chance to meet him. Is he what kind of funny is he? Is he like sarcastic? Uh, no, he, he's just. I mean, kind. It's kind of both. He's kind of blunt and kind of sarcastic. So, I mean, it, it's, he's real funny though. He's a good guy. Fast and funny. Those are two skills uh, <laughs> I'm really excited about. <laughs> uh, you mentioned earlier that you have a 13-year-old brother, and if mm -hmm. if anybody follows you on Instagram, you like to post some fun pictures of the two of you together. Uh, so thinking back to when you were 13, who is the better athlete between you and your brother? <laughs> He's probably going to be mad, but I'll, definitely me. I'll say me. <laughs> <laughs> He's not in the room, is he? <laughs> no, stairs somewhere. But no, um, I think he's going to be taller than me, though. He's still growing, so he's getting there. You think you might get into basketball? Take uh, yeah. sport? I expect baseball, so I think so. All right, I'm assuming you're your brother's favorite player. Um, but when you were his age, who was your number one player um, of, down in North Carolina? Um, I was actually a big Derek Jeter fan. Oh, so nice. Was, yeah. I, that's a good one. Were you, did you grow up a Yankees fan or? Yeah, I was a Yankees fan growing up, so. I think uh, in I, that era, a lot of kids were Yankees fans. Uh, basically, only basically because of Jeter though. So that's why I was yeah. a Yankees fan. Fair enough. Have you had a chance to meet him? What did you say? Have you had a chance to meet him? And no, I, no, I haven't had a chance to meet him. So. Oh, I feel like that could happen easily. <laughs> yeah. I just have one quick follow-up question since we're talking about okay. you. We just talked about your brother. Um, mm -hmm. Advice that you give to maybe your brother and to other kids that you come in interaction with, what's the best advice you can give to kids that are aspiring to be the best athlete that they can be whether that's college or professional you know leading them hopefully to the next level um yeah we just work hard um that's been the biggest thing for me um because i mean everything that i've set my mind to i try to just work hard and uh, try to accomplish it so i mean and i'm um, just dream i mean it's possible so i mean just work hard and it can happen I think that's good, good advice for everybody not just young <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> adults, uh, children, everyone. <laughs> we solicited questions from Twitter. We like to consider ourselves a fan show, so we did. Uh, we did ask the fans what they wanted to ask you. Uh, Steven says, "Describe what it was like when you got the call to join the Giants, and then 21 days later, hitting a walk off for your first major league home run." What was um, that experience like? It was amazing. I mean, um, when I got called up, I was in, we were in St. Louis. I met the team in St. Louis, and. Um, getting to step out on Major League Field for the first time and then getting to look over and actually see my, my family sitting over there. Um, it was a really good experience. Um, probably one of the best days of my life, I'm not going to lie. And um, I mean, we played that 16 inning game the night before that. And then doing that, it was just like, I was kind of like zoned out for half of it, to be honest. <laughs> Is that when you got the uh, Gatorade shower from Mauricio Dubon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was that yeah. one of your firsts? uh showers or has the, was that uh one of many um i think it, yeah, that might have been i mean i probably had a couple but i mean definitely that was definitely the biggest one by far for sure 
I always uh, like, I always look at the reactions and it's always such an exaggerated reaction. Is it really that cold? I no, just it, know. Yeah, and he caught me off guard too. I didn't know he was coming. I couldn't see him. The way they had me, they had me turned away from the dugout. So I couldn't see him. Well, that's, yeah, I, I feel like maybe we should reenact that on our show sometime, guys. Just, <laughs> just dump some gator it. I'm not, I'm not going to help clean up, but I'm, I'm down to do it. <laughs> Well, Carmen, yeah, you posted that GIF on Twitter, and I think I watched it a hundred times. It is amazing that the reaction, the smile on Mauricio's face, and Jalen's—it's awesome. Yeah, it's definitely a good time. Sure. I, I've always wondered after those Gatorade showers, how sticky do you get after that? I'd imagine you uh, get really sticky. It probably takes a long time to wash off. Yeah, it was it was pretty sticky. I'm not gonna lie. But after that, when we went to the locker room, they actually put me and Mauricio in like the little shopping cart where we put the. Uh, our clothes and stuff and because they hadn't got him for when he hit his first home run and they just poured shaving cream and stuff all on us <laughs> like that and put us in the shower so i mean it was pretty cool it was a fun time i mean That's i've awesome. seen a lot of weird things in those shopping cart showers so i've seen the whipped cream shaving cream whatever that yeah. stuff but i've also seen like weird drinks like some yeah, random Coke, food items uh, like what like is like mustard yeah totally. mustard yeah where <laughs> did you get any weird food items on you or was it just the shaving cream I think the it was just a shaving cream. I think the other people were saying it was like somebody had a gallon of milk or something. So I mean, I <laughs> <laughs> no, just lots of lots of dairy, I guess, goes in. Yeah. There. Who knew there were so many condiments in a baseball clubhouse? I know, <laughs> I know right? Uh, JDS says, where does Jalen see his best fit in the outfield? Where does the best fit? Um, I mean, I feel comfortable at any spot in the outfield. Um, I've been playing mostly right since I've been in, like, the minor leagues and when I got called up. Uh, but all through college and stuff, I played center. So, mm -hmm. uh, Another question. Uh, how did you like playing in Sacramento last year, and how did it compare to your time on the East Coast? Um, Sacramento was fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, the stadiums are – I feel like the stadiums are a lot nicer in the PCO than they are. And on the other league. So, I mean, I definitely enjoyed it. All right. And our last question, uh, what are you most looking forward to when baseball resumes? Um, just being around the guys. I mean, I think that's what I miss more than anything. Just, um, I mean, I, we take for granted that we're always together and then all of a sudden we're not. So, I think that's the biggest thing. All right. Uh, you're a Giants outfielder. Therese going to take us back in the way back machine for a play another Giants outfielder made back in the day. Yeah, well, we have a couple anniversaries as a, the Giants organization and as the fans that we're celebrating this week. Uh, earlier this week, it was the anniversary of the Kevin Mitchell catch. Jalen, have you ever seen Kevin Mitchell's I, catch, I famous have, catch that he has? I don't think I have, no. Anthony, you want to reenact it? Uh, yeah, he was <laughs> running in foul territory, and for some reason he used his bare hand. He didn't use his glove, and it just he went out and caught it. I think it happened all the way back in 1989. Jalen, I don't even think you were born yet in 1989. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it it's a famous play in Giants history, and I'm sure you're going to surpass it one day, hopefully. That be nice, hopefully. So speaking of famous catches like that, what is the most memorable catch you've had in your career? And can you reenact it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um i think we were in like the it was it happened in the fall league like two years ago um i actually have a picture of it somewhere i don't know where it is but i no think it's on, my, it's on my instagram actually yeah sure uh, <laughs> yeah i was i think we were up by one or we were it was a tie game or something it was a ball hit i was playing left at the time and i just started running back and i looked up i was like oh i might have a chance at it and our bullpen is like right right in front of the fence. So I jumped and I like stuck my feet into the wall and I reached over and I robbed it. And our whole and our whole bullpen went crazy. And I turned around and threw it in and our infielders was sitting like this. And, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, when you grab a catch like that, you must just be like, did I actually do it? You probably have to like double yeah. catch, right? It just kind of just happened. It happened so fast. So yeah, it was pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah, and then um, I, it was no video or anything, but one of the fans had taken a picture of it. And the next day we were coming out, everybody was trying to find video. The next day we were coming out, and like, she's like, hey, can you sign this? And I have your copy for you. So she gave me a copy of it. So it was pretty that's cool. so nice. Oh, that's nice. Awesome. Well, the big uh, anniversary as Giants fans, Giants organization today is the 20th anniversary of the first splash hit into McCovey Cove, which was done by Barry Bonds. 
on May 1st, 2000 against Rich Rodriguez. Um, so there's been a lot more since then. There's been 81 total now. Um, so I just wanted to kind of get predictions of who we all think is going to be the next person to hit a splash hit. So Jalen, if you like to go first or you can defer, you get first pick at least. Like of your teammates, who do you think would be the first one to hit a splash hit? Of my teammates. Um, I don't think. You could say yourself. No. <laughs> I would think it would be a lefty. So I would go with Dickerson. Ooh. Oh, I like oh. that. Yeah. And He's we would to get talk. to hear the chance again. Uh, yes. <laughs> Carmen, who would you pick? I mean, no, no secret here. I'm going to go for Splash 69 hero and champion Brandon Belt. I think he <laughs> can do it. I don't think it'll go way out, but I think it'll, it'll bloop in there. Anthony, what about you? Uh, I'm going to go with someone who hasn't hit one yet. I'm going to go with Yaz. I'm going to go with Mike Dostromsky. I think he's due. I think he's going to be the, the first one of whenever we come back. Cool. Your pick. I'm, I'm scrambling now because my pick was also Mr. Dick himself. Um, <laughs> and I don't know if I have to change my answer or if I can team up with Jalen. Team up. There Dick, we go. Dick, Dick. Yeah, we got this. We're going to get that payout when uh, Dickerson hits one. The big Dickerson energy, we call That's it on right. the show. Yeah, big That's Dickerson right. energy indeed. And to wrap this up, I'm going to go with the panda, Pablo Sandoval. He's had a few. I think he's due. So... I'm surprised no one said Brandon Crawford. No one's been That's another well, big, big time lefty on our squad. So all right, I'll take both Dickerson and Crawford. All right, you can have it. Two we'll picks. Have it. Cole's gonna cheat. <laughs> Well, that's all we really have for today's show. I just really want to thank Jalen Davis for joining us. We appreciate it. Uh, I know we're all in quarantine, but I'm sure you have better things to do, like maybe play Animal Crossing. I don't really know, but <laughs> we're so happy that you were able to join us. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for having me. Of course. And y'all can check this out or past episodes on YouTube. And our next show will be obviously next Friday. Um, and stay tuned. We have some exciting guests coming up. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you guys for bearing